concerned. Good. And Chuck uh, Pringle, 30 seconds to introduce. Thank you, uh, Minister, this question just is in relation to the Cassell's report and trying to see what the Department's um, view is in relation to the potential for student contingent loans. Minister. Yeah, um, yeah, Peter Castle's report it considers a number of potential funding options, including uh, for deferred payment of student fees. It's currently being examined by the Oireachtas Committee on Education and Skills with a view to making recommendations on a long-term sustainable funding model for higher education. This process includes receiving input from relevant stakeholders. It will be important to obtain political and societal consensus on achieving a sustainable funding model for the higher education sector in the future. And my department and I continue to work with the Committee. To under, uh, to, as it undertakes its deliberations. In follow-up to the expert uh, group report, uh, appropriate technical work will be undertaken by an interdepartmental group chaired by my department in relation to income contingent student loans in order to inform future funding policy options, including in light of recommendations from the Oireachtas Committee on Education and Skills. In advance of these recommendations, however, I have taken immediate steps to increase funding for higher education. The first such increase in nine years. Increased checker funding of £36.5 million was secured in this budget uh, for, for the educa higher education sector. This includes an increase in funding available to students from disadvantaged backgrounds and other underrepresented groups to assist them in overcoming financial barriers in accessing and completing higher education. Provision is also being made made in the Department's expenditure ceiling in 2018 and 2019 for demographic increases, which cumulatively represented an additional £160 million investment in the sectors in the period 2070 to 2019. In addition, the Department uh, and the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform are currently undertaking a public consultation process on a proposed exchequer employer investment mechanism for higher education and further education and training. It is estimated that the mechanism which proposes an increase in the national training fund levy from 0.7 to 1% between 2018 and 2020 could yield close to an additional uh, 200 million revenue in 2020. Comments on the proposal may be submitted to the Department uh, by 5 p.m. on Thursday, the 13th of uh, April. Full details of the consultation are available on the websites of both departments. The intention is that, taken together, these approaches will contribute to and inform developments of a long-term uh, sustainable funding model for the higher education and further education and training sectors. Deputy Pringle, one minute. Thank you, Minister, for, for your response. Minister, it just seems from your response that the Department is going ahead and doing a lot of work in terms of how uh, student income contingency loans would actually work in practice, uh, alongside the work that the, you say that the Iraqis Committee is doing. Um, I know that your Department hasn't actually contributed to the the, the, the work that the Committee is doing at the moment, uh, hasn't given evidence there. And I just wonder, wh why would you be developing the system parallel to the work that the committee is doing, if the committee might recommend that there is going to be no income contingency loans that there shouldn't be, and is it a case that there is actually a fait accompli and the decision has actually already been taken within the department? Uh, no, no, no decision, but uh, obviously if we are intended to move, and, and I mean, part of the, um, Peter Castle's report is he envisages you know, that over the last number of years the higher education sector grew by something like 25 per cent with no increased state funding. He's anticipating another 25 per cent growth, uh, and he recognises that you know, doing nothing about this is not satisfactory. He outlines three sources of potential funding. One is exchequer, which we are pursuing. The second is employers, which we are pursuing, and the third is is the possibility of this, this student contribution mechanism. Now, it, it would be imprudent of us not to look at the technical side of that, should it be decided by the Oireachtas, that that's the direction we, we, we want to go. And I suppose it's, it's prudent to do that preparation. But clearly, you know, this is something the, the, the Oireachtas, we, as a group, just like we're looking at health funding and pension funding in the long term, we have to look at this as, as a group. You know, Peter Castles has set out, out issues that should be looked at, such as the extra earnings that someone who graduates get, and whether it's fair that to ask them make a contribution back, but also we have to look at whether access of students who don't come from backgrounds or families who can afford it, would they be be put off, or could they be, their needs be dealt with by, by, by other mechanisms? Are there collection problems that might arise? All of these issues are, are issues that we need to, to assess, and that's why you know, the Oireachtas is taking its time, and we are available at any time to, to, no, to answer uh, any issues Debbie, that the, the committee wishes to raise. Minister, I take it from your response there. You're saying that option one, you're pursuing, option two, you're pursuing, and you failed to see whether you were pursuing option three or not, which is the income contingency loans. 
And I take it from your response there that you actually the department is pursuing the income contingency loans, and I think that's something that's uh, regrettable and shouldn't actually be done because it places a huge burden on students and doesn't actually, I believe, contribute anything to the uh, accessibility for students and affordability either for students. That there's ample evidence from across the world where most of the actual debt is can made up from interest charges that accrue at a later stage through the income contingency loans. And the Union of Students of Ireland are implacably opposed to it. Um, I think a lot of the members of the House here are opposed to it. And I would be seriously worried the fact that you are pursuing options one and two, that you're actually also in parallel pursuing option three, and that you're going to try and develop some sort of hybrid of all three that brings it in together as a way of saying that this is less than the board. And I don't think that's acceptable. Deputy Byrne, to combine with final and supplementary. Minister, you've announced today in, in, that you're carrying out a technical study. Now, that's come as news to me as a member of the Eroctus Committee on ed, uh, Education. We had decided ourselves uh, to do a technical study because Peter Cassas had recommended it. So that's, that's a new departure uh, from you. And what I would suggest the best thing to do is that the department would fund uh, an expert that the Eroctus Committee would then hire through public tender uh, to carry out a technical study. I think that would be the best and most independent way of doing it. Um, but we, we need resources to do that. I agree it should be done fairly, but it's, it's, it's a bit of a shocker now that you've come in to announce that, that you're going ahead, whereas all previous replies have been that simply you refer every issue belongs to the Castle's report to, to the Oireachtas Committee. On every issue that has been raised, I mean, we are doing, we're take, taking on work. So we're, doing, we're looking at the employer mechanism, which obviously is, is being, uh, can be assessed by the, the committee. We're looking at the exchequer mechanism. And you know, I'm not sitting back on my hands and saying, let's do nothing until all this assessment work is doing. I'm moving immediately because I believe there's a crisis. Uh, so I'm, I'm acting to, to deliver cash straight away. I'm acting to put in place an employer's mechanism, which hopefully we can agree in the budget. And I'm making contingency preparations with PER so that should it be decided that this is the route to go. But there isn't, a, there isn't an expensive budget, let me assure you. It's just we're looking at issues such as cash flow impact, the sort of thing that, that is, is, is clearly there if this was to be a workable operation. Uh, but I think that's, that's uh, wise planning, uh, but we're, we're, we're not in any way uh, assuming on what the Oireachtas Committee may recommend to us.